Today's edition of Seniors Please, we're here in beautiful Playa del Carmen, Mexico, here at the Secrets Resort Hotel in Playa del Carmen, of course. We've run into a local historian, craft shop owner, and actually expert historian of Mexican art and craft, especially as it relates to the Aztecs and to the Mayan cultures. It's a beautiful place, and he's got it tucked into the, the side of the hotel uh, where anybody can come into it and take a look at it. And his name is Jose Gomez of Ay Caramba La Bamba. Jose is going to take us a tour through his store, give us some history on everything, how it's manufactured, and the culture and the cultures that it came from. Very interesting video. Stay tuned. Thanks. Excellent. How are you doing, my friend? Mike? Very good. Welcome Excellent. To Let me introduce you our store. We're a family business store. We have a big selection of beautiful handcraft to my country, made with a with a hands tradition process. We got for different states of Mexico, but the most important is the local area, the Mayan area. We got a, like a, this one. You know that that that's always amu amazed me what those what the symbols of those are because okay. if we let everybody take a look at how a close-up of what those are. They look like skulls, monsters. Give us an explanation yeah. of what the what we're looking at. Of course, the Mayan people, before we was conquisted by the Spanish people, they came here, and uh, when they see this, they don't understand why Mayan people was doing. Mayan people, they believe in the second life. And this is called the first one that we have in the middle, means the life and the death. In couple words, the Mayan people, they know as soon you born, you start dying. That's the reason they have that symbol. Like, uh, the death and the life also, they was uh, in, in, in like a catalogation, or like a, like a something like a, the good and the bad. Uh -huh. something. But also, uh, the, this decoration, this is the main part, but also they have like a some kind of statues with decoration. This is the eagle warrior with the death of the life uh, symbolization. Next one is the jaguar warrior with just with the death of the day is skull and then the other ones is a lot of decoration this is more like a, a colorful and a fashion in that time so this one in the middle it looks like he's half dead and half alive <laughs> yes born half dead and half yeah, alive like an eclipse something like that yeah then that top we got a turtle that the sea turtle in the mayan culture the symbolization means long life or life forever that's the, 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 the Mayan people was taking the sea turtle, like uh, the never dies. Mm -hmm. Actually, years ago, the Mayan people who can't get healthy, they was drinking, they was sacrificing the turtle, the big one, they was drinking the blood for, for vitamins, for be younger, all those things too. So if I drink your blood, I'll be stronger. But sometimes they got like a, <laughs> sometimes the, the Mayan people have a video that when they get like a, like a, like a shock because it's very strong and they get like, and then they, oh, wake up, and then it's stronger. Uh, just as long as I sucked your blood last night, so now I'm a stronger guy, right? So like that. How about the, uh, the sun? Okay. Here in the middle, like this one here. Uh, this kind of, the handcraft, it's, uh, it's more than after the, the cultures like Aztec and Mayan come from Guerrero, Mexico. But the sun, that means the fertility uh -huh. for the corn. It's uh, like uh, something new in the life. Oh, okay. That means uh, even the, the, the Aztec culture, they want the symbolization, the sun in the pyramid of Teotihuacan. And the Mayan people, they have that sun like uh, the God that make for the fertility for the the new things that are happening in the future. Tell us about the, 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 the vases here and again about okay. the turtles, the yes, significance sir. of those. This nice vase is made with a talavera. Talavera is a dish that, that they came to Mexico years ago when we was conquisted by the people from Spain. At that time, only the rich people can have it. But the vase of this kind of pottery and vases, you could not scratch it with anything. Nothing. Can be heated. It's beautiful for decoration. Also, you can use it for water too. So if you drop it in the floor right now, it'll break. <laughs> <in> the <meat. laughs> it could break, but, uh, but also now when you go any house and you see decoration for Talavera, yeah, pure, vitral, and blown glass, they can say you are rich people because it's the only top uh, handcraft and that. That's the one I think my wife has in the in, as a sink or something. Yes, yes. She got from you some supplies to give me. Yep. Which is a then we have a quick, a quickly here and uh, like uh, these symbols. 
this is a statues that idols the original ones was made in the Mayan culture by jade black obsidian and turquoise and so a brownie shell this one is made for the new people the handcraft that make jewelry uh -huh. with a black obsidian and different incrustations but the face also skin pakal the only thing they make fashion different different form but the real one is the one that we got when we go there okay and uh here and, we got then, some okay go ahead this knife is the replica from the Mayan people was doing the sacrifice. Oh yeah. And uh, for the little, but they, they, to the we call the princess, the virgin ladies, they was sacrificing in the sink hole, the main one that is located at Chichen Itza. Yeah. They was taking the heart and offering to the son to bring good things for the for the tribe. Doesn't sound very good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it to your wife. <laughs> no, not your wife. And, and how about the sunglasses? What's the su significance? Well, here? Uh, well <laughs> we have family business, so we know people in the hurries and whatever, always they lost the sunglasses. I have to have some sunglasses. That's right, the reason so we got these. I've just got to have them. These things. And, and how, I, how about this pottery up here? Oh, that one. Uh, that one you have in there, the, the Aztec calendar, how you can we can identify the Aztec calendar because the, always the song in the middle with a tongue out. out. Uh -huh. This is the God, which is supposedly this is the Aztec culture. This is the main, this is the energy for the Aztec people. And always in the calendar, they got two warriors the guards to the palacio or to the castle. Uh -huh. Around there, these people that make this handcraft from Guerrero, Mexico, you have histories within. After the, the culture, the tradition, the wedding in the little village is a wedding there. The other, other scenery with the people have us own dancing there, and the people working in the farm. It's a it's a mix of the culture Aztec with the histories about the little village in the by the amounts uh, close to Mexico City. So did the Aztecs fight with the Mayans, or were they peaceful cultures? No, uh, the Aztecs never fight with the Mayans. Only they fight with the Spanish people, with Hernán Cortés. So they had their land locations already marked off, and they just didn't come to, to the Mayan area down here. It's curious, but uh, uh, in the old history, the Aztecs and the Mayans, they never meet. Really? Really. They never... Is it too far? Well, they used to say that the uh, the Aztecs would run fish from Veracruz all the way to Mexico City no, with runners. No, that that's not true. No, it's no. not true. They was running the the fish from Tulum, Tulum, uh -huh. the little pyramid, the port of the Maya, yeah. to Chichen Itza. Oh yeah. Offering and those people they was changing merchandise with the fishermen and the meat with fish, and the the capital Chichen Itza was always there, but they know the port they were using for for going something to Cozumel, because Cozumel they have some pyramids too. Yes. They they went by that also, they did like a, a by the by the canoas, and they did a Cozumel, Belize too, sometimes sometime for Belize, and uh, they went to Golfo de Mexico, no, no, Yucatan, Yucatan, all the ports by Yucatan too, mm -hmm. but they never went so far. The most far that they've been there is Uxmal near to Chiapas, Chiapas, Mexico, and part of the Tabasco. That's the island. That's, it. That's it. No more. There were lots of runners. Yeah. How about down here where you've got these masks? These masks are intriguing to me. Yes. Oh, They're okay. just bizarre. This mask Tell is us the, some history about those see, masks. This mask, the original ones, is the almost the same form, but it's much a little large, and the nose comes like a peric. But the face is uh, to Mr. King Pakal. King Pakal. Yeah, it was the king, right? Yeah, exactly. King and God. And God. And God. That's yeah. a good job if you can get it. Yeah, because <laughs> this guy, the Mayan people, after they die, they know that they go with him in the oven. And uh, it was a privilege, privilege was to die because they have the, they exist a, 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 the Mayan ball game that they hit the ball and put in a pool in the wall. But the winner was getting a cool ahead. But that winner, he prepared very much like a training to get ready to die because he know when he go King Pakal, he will be in the habit. And then with the process they, they got in the Inframundo, King Pakal sent him to reincarnation. He, he was a good man, like a, like a sport man, everything, like a jaguar. He was, a, depends on what's the catalog, they send you like a monkey, jaguar, and a, and a turtle, lizard, depends. King Pakal was selecting, you was like a bad people, like a snake. Yeah. 
we, I think we saw some of those guys dressed up as uh, Escaret. Yeah, Escaret. Yeah, they were yeah. just kind of hiding in the woods. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. And they were Mayan, right? Warriors? Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about those uh, masks down on the bottom there, though. Is that the DNA? Oh, that's okay. Those wet yeah. dolls or this like is, that? Yeah, these skulls are made with a clay and comes from Guerrero, Mexico. But the original ones that we started with this kind of decoration is a, it's come with a sugar skull day to the day celebration, Dia de los Muertos. But now, with, the, with the, all the, the handcraft that we sell from Mexico, very colorful, they start making by the clay and different decorations, and people like it very much. That's right, from years ago, every, every state of Mexico, you see these nice, colorful uh, clay uh, skulls that's made with a red clay. You can put a little candle inside, very solid one, but they have a many colorful. Now, it's like a tradition to have this in Mexico. Um, in Mexico, day to the day celebration, we celebrate happy, no sad because right. because that's the reason that the faces are happy all the time. It's not like a scary faces. We're okay. happy for the dead. Yeah. And these these over here, these uh, <coughs> just the larger the larger version. Sizes. Yeah. So if I put one of those in my house, what does it scare off? <laughs> <laughs> Other than my wife. But, but yeah, yeah. <coughs> we on our wife. If we on the couch watching the TV, <laughs> just put the mask with the front, and she won't bother you for never. She went really scary. But uh, even this one, this is other type of Talavera. This Talavera we go, it's come from Puebla, Mexico, where we, we call the Premium Talavera. Because this one is from below to the Flores, bro, uh, Hermano Flores. They're uh, the best there. Yeah, yeah, it's the best one because it's very detailed. Actually, in, in Puebla, Mexico, the cathedral of there, the most of the decorations on the, in the corners <coughs> is all pure talavera with gold. Very beautiful. And then the, we got all the kind of the handcraft. This is the clay from Guerrero. Guerrero, Mexico. It, the talavera is beautiful style and decoration. And the clay is much colorful. Mm -hmm. And the people that make beautiful. this, they put, is, they put histories. Like I hear, is the lady cooking. In the, they call molcajete. And uh, see, that's the, the fire and the, like right. a little, um, we call it the um, fogata. She's, she's working. And the fogata. little bit. Like, yeah. And the next masks, it's, it's more the same. Yeah, it's more about the day to the day, but like I say, <coughs> uh, because this is a, people like it very much, they make a lot of diversity in the fashion. This is for the holding, the, this is for the holding the wall. The other one that we see for sit on the table, like a standing one. And uh, but this is the same same place. Guerrero, Mexico is the land of, of the red clay. Right. The red clay people, you can see the finger how they make it. Oh yeah. Actually the red clay is not beautiful. They make it beautiful when they do the decoration and the painting yeah. and they glaze. What is the paint made out of? Is it just it, a it's a they do like a acrylic painting and uh it's a process, it's a long process, because they make first that design, they put a the colorful, then they put to dry in the sun, after that, they just decorate and glaze in the fire and get that shiny. But this one, never use it for food, any of these, any of these dishes is not possible to use it for food, because you got the lid. Mm -hmm. In the Talavera, no problem, because that's baked on uh, 600 Celsius degrees on the fire. Then we got this thing, this comes from Toluca, Mexico. Uh, Porfirio family, they make this kind of stuff. The composition is made, of, we call fish stone. Uh, the fish stone is, is uh, like 70% uh, recyclable fish bones. 30 fish bones? Yeah, recycle like a red snapper, tuna fish, barracuda. The people, they, they, they try to save a lot and they put a container made of one. They compress, they add that resin 30%, they heat it, they melt it. And they create a kind of like a clay. Then they drop this in a wood mold, and when it get dry, they carve it like a wood. And you Is get that this. the Aztec calendar again in the inside? It, yeah, the Aztec with that uh, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl is the snake that they have the Aztec mm. people. It makes in, in Yucatan, Mayan culture, they call Kukulcam. Kukulcam. Yeah, it's, it's, it's two different snakes. In the Aztec, it was the god. In here only was the like a some one that 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 like a only they show up by the equinox March 21st. Kukulkan appear in the pyramid of Chichen Itza, comes down and hits the head, 
and that means that change of the or can the fertility date with the spring. But uh Kukulkan is is uh they just respect that snake like a symbol that can the good things cosecha fertility. Mm -hmm. Because the only god is King Pakal in the Mayan culture. What else do you have back there in your treasure chest? Looks like you've got some more uh Dia de los Muertos. Oh yeah. This lady's other thing. And Dia de los Muertos, they they have the traditional Katrina. Katrina is the lady that is beautiful with a dress, but has a a, a, a skull face. I mean, they will scary, scary you. Yeah. The tradition say that she's walking all the time with a bimbo body, but when she turn around to you, wow, you're scared. But now in Mexico, with the tradition of day to the day, many beautiful ladies, they dress up and they do that makeup. They are yeah. they beautiful. No, like no, that. Yeah. Beauty. It's, it's How about some of the other things up here in our treasure chest? Well, and Anything that special. Just in the back, you have something in Mexico that is not very. Some people they don't know. They call the rip off in the back. La la muerte, la Santa oh. Muerte. That, is that is, la Santa mu Muerte yeah. there with the sickle. Yeah, the yeah. people from the north, the cartel, they venerate her. They very people there they we call Tierra Caliente tough people uh -huh. but here they have like a little chapels there capillas where they go take flowers and they uh -huh. but that, <coughs> that lady when that people they give the the spirit no way to 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 walk back wow. they got you if you try to trade her you get dead right away it's, it's like a respect but uh, I never go with her but I saw people that they give the spirit with her is in the this other thing I believe in God it's yes 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 that's kind of scary and here we have other much stuff with the, with the fish bones the fish stone with the same a lot of diversity with the sea turtles we got the, the three wise monkeys the three wise Buddhas but we have one section too uh, these are three wise monkeys he will not speak he will not see no yeah. here that's very cute. You've got everything covered, right? Yeah. You have anything for the Muslims? Yeah, without the angels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mayan, Aztec, Christian. The, yeah. The Virgin, of course, the Virgin's got to be there. The, the, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a Virgen de Guadalupe. The, the Guadalupe. The Virgen de Guadalupe, we have the Catholic statues here. That with the people very Catholic in Mexico, they can't they buy stuff here. That's the reason we got with the same fish stone. We have that statue like a the Virgen de Guadalupe, we got the hand god with the sacred with the family, La Familia Sagrada, uh -huh. the the blessed family, and uh, we got in the back the same Virgen de Guadalupe with the gold things there, and then we got now some, Guadalupe. She was supposed to be was that Jesus' mother? Or uh, no, no. no. It uh, wasn't I Mary. explain you. Uh, is people sometimes they confuse Virgen de Guadalupe with with uh, Mary Virgin. But the real authentic thing, Virgen de Guadalupe, everything started at the, when the people, with the, when the Spanish already was here in Mexico, they have like a churches and the fathers. It was this guy is very important that history, Juan Diego. Juan Diego found her oh. in the Cerro de Tepeyac. But when he found her, he ran, he ran faster to the church to say to the uh, father, Father, I saw a lady and she said that come with you and said that she came here to save all the Mexican people and the father first thought you crazy and then second apparition like a second meet to him and she said I say when they go say and say to the father I am here I want they come and we were come to bless me and all this that we know but the third time that virgin uh, uh, Guadalupe just she's something like a miracle she sent some light and put in the petate Juan Diego the, the image of her and then when he runs with the father show the petate and the father saw the, the Guadalupe Virgin uh -huh. he get like a wow oh my god and they wrong everybody and they made a little capilla there she was like a saint uh, yeah saint yeah but after she got canonized with the with the Catholic, Catholic and the and the Vaticano, now they canonize also Juan Diego. Juan Diego is assigned to oh, now. Okay. 
because he's part of the history to that Virgen de Guadalupe. She is the top in the Catholicism, the December 12th. It's a big holiday, no school, no banks, no nothing. All the Mexican people in the Basilica de Mexico, they go and venerate her. Is she supposed to be there saving the, the, the outside? That's why a lot of girls are named Guadalupe. Exactly. And then Maria. After. Maria. Yeah. Yeah, but Guadalupe is, is like a Lupita. It's a Catholic yeah. influence. Yeah. And I see that you got some more artifacts over here, just yeah. various and sundry items. Yeah. <laughs> the elephant we got for any reason because the elephants is no Mexican culture, come from like India. But uh, this guy that he made this statue with a fish stone. He made some ones and people like it because the elephant means abundance in your home, like mm -hmm. a money, healthy, all those things. But it's other kind of religion. It's not belongs to Mexico. And then the top we got something very important. That calendar with the Aztec and the, the two honeymooners there or two like a couple there represent in, in Chichen Itza there is a painting they call Love Forever. It's the history to Ekbalan and Nick Tehan. Nick Tehan was like a princess and Ekbalan was the, like a jaguar warrior uh -huh. that they have a, a love hiding from the, the top of the Mayan people but they're not allowed to be together but finally they try to sacrifice her and then uh, he killed her and then he, like a Romeo Juliet, he drank a poison and died. That's the reason they call it love forever. It's a, real, it's a real, a real, a real history at the Chichen Itza. But then we got much elephants and the... Oh, I, I love the, I love the oh, Lucha Libre the mask. Lucha, Lucha Libre, the wrestling were, mask in Mexico, like, yeah. This is made because in Mexico... They've gotten really popular now in the yes, US. Yes, actually in Mexico started, uh, I was a child, but in the 70s, in Mexico was that the, the people that start with the Lucha Libre in Mexico is designed in Santo Mascarado de Plata, that is that guy, Yeah. and Blue Demo. That's the, the, that's the I mean, the, the, the top of the Lucha Libre in Mexico. These two guys, very famous and popular in Mexico. Do they still wrestle? No, they died already, they passed away. <laughs> yeah. They but, died already. But this guy is the <coughs> United States, Sacramento, California. I Rey see. Mysterio, very popular. Now very. he's tough to fight. His son, Rey Mysterio Jr., is, is still fighting in the Mexican uh -huh. First Division and the national one. And I see that you got the hats over here just yeah. in case somebody needs a hat. This guy here is very Ooh. funny, the Lucha Libre. They call La Parca. La Parca. He's very funny guy. When he goes to, to fight in the Lucha Libre, he make a big show with a guy. He's very funny. He wears that kind of hat. Yeah, thing yeah. Thing over there. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, this kind of the, the handcraft, this come from Campeche. It's made it with a palm tree. They cut the palm tree. They have a, a hand stitch work. It's very traditional.